Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Crashlands. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Thank y'all so much for all the support on the Crashlands series, guys. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. We got a couple quests to complete today. Let's start it up. Flux, the tundra has fallen quite for time. It, I take an alpha short. Podgord is ready for, is prepared for Hugo. As much as they probably can be, we made them some chairs. <laughs> Good. They've got to stay alert. We'll need more. <laughs> what would you do if, like, you told somebody's boss, like, yeah, we helped him. We made him chairs. I don't know. Good, they've got to stay alert. We'll need more than chairs to reinforce the other pod guards, though. What do you have in mind? Metal, lots of it. I thought you Polari were nomadic. How do you know how to work metals? They usually require a lot of infrastructure. The geysers, burrows left behind from the first invasion of the chick rub, uh, regularly spout material deposits, oh, mineral deposits all over the tundra. If you break them open and gather slurry from within, we found a way to process it into usable metal. Oh, that's cool. How strong is it? I mean, Hugaduko has lasers. Even a few seconds of extra time can be the difference between life and death out here. Gather up 10 carabon from, uh, for the pod and process it at the slurrier. Then I'll get where it needs to go. So I guess this is the slurrier. Aha, uh -huh, it's the next workstation. Or, wow, man, <laughs> like, the workstations are just crazy. I'm going to roll with it for a little while. If I have enough materials for something, I'm going to use it, but other than that, I'm not going to freak out. Okay, we still have a flower arrangement to make up, and I uh, also have, I need to kill a few of these guys here. So let's see, I guess I was using the long-range weapons, was I? I guess I was using long-range weapons while my, while my Vama just did the job here. I think I want to do some physical damage though, like that. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see here. So we have to deliver a flower arrangement just east of the central pod guard, is what they said. Although I don't see anything. Huh. I don't know, maybe it's down there. Let's see here. Ooh, that's a big old thing. I've heard uh, some people were telling me about how strong a few of the um, a few of the monsters were as pets. So I'm excited to see how that happens. Let's see here. This can't be it, is it? Boom! Wilkie sent us from the Creepstone with a gift. Oh, that's it. I thought it was just east. Uh, my oh my, such a thoughtful one. Wilkie is. Been on guard for a long time with that demon head all over. Why don't you take this cookie jar back with you? Gotta keep those two fed. Can we have some? Mm, this one's for Creepstone Guard, but I'll teach you how to make one. Just take some Glazer stomach balls. Now get going and Wilkie, uh, to Wilkie before those cookies lose their warmth. Uh-huh, so now we can make some sort of cookie jar. Uh, let's see here. So we can teleport to... Is it the Alpha Shore that we have to go to? Let's see. Also, I didn't forget about getting hardcores when I see them. When I see good resources like this, I'm gonna have to go for them, man. It's just too good to pass up. Uh, so, let's see here. Alpha short. Okay, apparently I went too far already. <laughs> Is it up right here? Yes, that's where I went wrong. Okay, it's not the alpha short that we need to go to. The quest, I guess, was for... Hmm. Creepstone Podguard? I guess so. Grandmam is here too. Cookies from Voom. And Voom is the best. <laughs> this will make our guard here way better. Thanks, Finless. If you make me feel any better, I'll vouch for not impaling you. <laughs> what? I think that makes me feel better. All right. How about this? Oh, he's got a rough face on. You aren't half bad. I suppose I could let you in on a little theory of mine. A theory? What about? See, this demon head showed up just after I lost my greatest treasure, my genie lamp. You have a genie lamp? Had. 
I was on a solo patrol out in the wilds with a huge glazer hulker got the drop on me. Thing, thing was enraged beyond belief. It fired an artillery at me like wham, and I dodged it. And my lamp flopped out on the grid. And wait, and that night Hugo Duco came crashing through the central pod guard. Seems a little suspicious, and I'd feel better if I had that back. Where'd you lose it? South of this place where the glazers roam. If you would find it for me and take out that cursed glazer, I would almost vouch for not impaling you. <laughs> I kind of feel like we're being exploited. Nonsense, it's a fair trade. Do something for me, don't get impaled. Uh huh. Alright, let's see what Grandmammy says. Ah, Flowery. What's up, Grandmammy? My quadrupi are working their way from the bog. This place has got to got all kind of interesting stuff going on. Have you been here before? Of course. I put my bad chick rub to rest here along, alongside these polari, but I never got to do much exploring. I'm thinking we need an outpost out, there, out here to future-proof all three of our allies against threats. Fair thinking, what do you have in mind? Jack already has found a suitable spot for us to set up shop. I've got one of them slurbs on it, named Krill. Why don't you head to this location and take out Krill? And plant... wait. <laughs> then plant this here smash, and, smash sign in the ground. Jack should show up shortly after one of... Ways clear. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't read today. Are we the muscle for this operation now? Afraid so, Flowery. Now get muslin. All right. Now we got some more story mission. Okay. So we can go to the Hulker's Lair here. And also, what is that? The BHQ? I guess that's for one of the quests too. All right. How far can we go south down here? Looks like we're going to have to... I don't know, the easiest way to get here is probably going to be around here. Yeah, alright, we'll head to the right here. We'll head to the right, I'm going to pick up a few things as I go here. Also, when do we get to a, uh, we'll get to a station before, I uh, mean a, a teleport pad before we actually do our, uh, I'll go back and see what's going on. I want to collect a few more of these things uh, to get this um, to get this workstation. I don't even know what these things are. Apparently, I have a little bit though. Actually, I should probably check that out. Uh, the next time we get to um, a teleport pad, I'll do that. I want to get started on that leash too. A lot of people said it's not that great, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be cool. So I want to try it out. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't know what all these are. Like, it looks like a couple things that I have a few of, but I'm not super familiar with. Also, I need to kill a few more of those, uh, these guys. Uh-oh, we made one mad. I kind of knew that would happen. That should be enough Badjam to feel safe. Okay, yeah, we just killed enough. Guess we should head back to the nursery and let Badjam know we cleared him out. All right. We'll head to the nursery. Uh, let's see. Where is the nursery? Uh, naturally, it doesn't say. It's one of those central places, though. Oh, it's west of the central pod guard. You know what? I'm not too far out, but, well, I still want to find the next teleport pad. I still want to find it before I go back. All right. I want to get this mushroom... And how far are we? Looks like we need to go a little bit left. I'll use the bone floors here. Gotta get all these hardcores. I know I'm gonna need them. Probably for everything that I do. That's how most of the resources are. You need them until, like, you don't need them anymore, pretty much. Or until you get to the next biome. Doesn't hurt to have extra, that's for sure. Alright. Where is... I keep pressing the wrong buttons too, man. I'm off today. Okay. Huh. I don't see... I'll just take these. I don't see where, um... Where are we supposed to go? It has to be around here somewhere. 
Okay, we did discover a telepad. That's good. Okay, there's Hulker. All right. Uh, what are uh, these guys? Like their weaknesses and stuff? Let's see. Data. Glaciers or ice resist is what they give. They have a fire vulnerability and a poison vulnerability. So yeah, we have the right we have the right things here. Get him, vomit. All we have else in our hot board is like uh some uh <laughs> <laughs> Some harvest bombs. I should change that out for heals. That's gonna haunt me if I'm not careful. Ouch. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, we got it. Now that we have the teleport pad, we can go back to. Let me get these things because they're a little rare. Oh, there's the lamp. Uh uh. Oh, wait. <laughs> These things are so mad. Okay, how about... Let's do something right quick. Let's take this and put our potions up. Where are our potions? We only have 12 of those. Uh, we'll do it, though. Oh, I gotta kill all these things. That's why they started attacking. Vomit is going to kill him. Thank you, Vomit. I can't pick it up? Why not? Oh, maybe we just can't pick it up at all. Okay. Uh, well, we have the, uh, the teleporter here, so that shouldn't be that bad. Uh, let's go. Let's go home. That's weird. It doesn't let me pick it up. All right. So let's check out what we need for this, this, uh, this thing here. So what is that? A slurb spine. Uh, I could probably attach it to something, then poke it. Okay. It hurt a lot. I don't. It doesn't tell me how I get them though. And these are slur shells. I guess these are from the little things on the glazer. Now I know what they are. Okay, okay. I got it now. Uh, also, a glazer incubator would be cool. Um, but we need a glazer egg for that. We'll probably get that sooner or later. Uh, Alright, let's check the leash as, as far as what I had now. We need diamonds and what are these again? Glazer antler fragments. Okay, so I'm going to do the leash just to know what I have to get. And we'll know that we have to get the slurrier stuff too. Uh, let's see here. Track. Alright. So now we know that we'll have to get some diamonds and stuff for that. Alright. Uh, as far as the quest is concerned, let's go back. And tell them that we cleared the stuff out. I thought it was... I thought... Okay, no. Central pot gourd. My bad. My bad. All right. Now, who was it that needed this? Okay, I delivered the... Oh, wait. Where where was it again? Hold on. I think... I know this was a quest. This was for the flower arrangement. Back already? You must be quite fierce despite your flipperness handicap. Thanks. <laughs> flipperless handicap. I know you did some good work out there, knocking those skirks down a peg. But that feeling I've got, the itch of being watched, it's not fading. And on top of that, I saw some big shadows moving last night. Are you scared of the dark? What? Me? No. No way. But I figure we should make that whatever it is out there scared to come here. To protect the calves, of course. What would that take? Most creatures don't like shirks much. If you could build me two stuffed shirks, uh, I think it would scare them off or whatever. Okay, so we have stuffed shirks that we can make for them now. Let's get this... Uh, I want to get this permafrost right quick. Okay, and now we can head out to 
I suppose it's... Where was the quest? The Fallen Star? Creeperstone Podgore? Let's, let's check all the places. Alright guys, I killed a bunch of the other glaciers around here, but the lamp still does not come out. And I went to the Creepstone and talked to the guy again. He's like, any luck finding that lamp? So I really don't know. I guess the quest is bugged. I'm really not sure what to do. I, I, I'll just revisit it later. Maybe you guys have some insight on it. I would love to hear what you have to say. Anyway, uh, I guess we're going to carry on here. We have a few other things to get for this leash and also the new one. But we can head to uh, the next quest, I think. So that should be all right. Let's head to this point right here and we'll head out. Alright guys, we made it a little bit out west to the GHQ area, and I found this guy, <laughs> Krill. He's red, so he's gonna probably hurt, but that's okay. Let's check out his, uh, his statistics here. So, these guys, the Slurbs, are... Are they weak to anything? Electric vulnerability. Uh-huh. Well, you guys did say that this, um... This thing here that I thought was weak was really strong because it has AoE. Not that it'll help a lot, but I am going to use it um, because I can right here. And also, let's trade the flamethrower right now for a D-Bot. Uh, actually, let's switch these around here. Let's unequip this. Equip D-Bot here because that's where I'm used to having it. And equip that here. All right. So... We ready? We'll have D-Bot, we'll have the speed thing, and we'll have... You know what, time warp will probably help me more than speed here, too. Let's change this to the stopwatch. Alright, I think this is going to be good here. Okay, we'll go in with... We'll hit it one time. Alright, time warp. And I hit it with the electricity. All right, he's not so hard, and Vame is killing him. All right, got the electricity thing again. Yeah, that is pretty darn strong, man. Being that it's AOE is pretty cool, too. I wish I had debuff back. I'll take a lot of damage from, like, poison or whatever. Ka! Got him with the lightning. Almost dead. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Yay! Very cool. Alright. Alright, you guys. Sorry about that. I had to go answer my door. So, we gotta pop down this sign, right? Smashy sign? Alright, I guess anywhere will do. Phew! That thing moved quick. Nice dip, duck, and dive, and flux. Jack, brick, brack. Wait, <laughs> brick, brack, brick, a brack. How do you do that? We can change skin color at will, Flux. We actually have been here the whole time. Why didn't you help? You had a handle on it, plus that slurred poison wrecks us quadrupi. No fun in that. But hey, I've got something urgent I need tending to. Makalak is trying to get here and needs some help. Why would Mac need our help? I thought the Polari liked you quadrupi. They do, but as you track... Wait, but they sure as tack... Don't like the Brubus, and Maclack wanted to bring one along. Oh boy. You need to go defuse the tension. They met up at a lake called Persuader's Point. Go and do whatever it takes to get them out. Alright, you'll be fine here. Well, be getting the fortifications ready while you get them. Just hurry up. Alright, I don't know what's wrong with me or why I can't read you guys. Hey Flux, I've got a bit of a task I need help with. What's going on? Well, if you haven't seen, the bog isn't the friendliest of places. We're struggling to figure out just what to eat. We're starting to run low on basic supplies. If you could trade with me, I'll gladly exchange some elixirs for your work. What are you needing? First, a good 30 gastroliths would be perfect for arming our agents on the field. You, you come see me when you've got them. So that... I guess puts me in the bog for some stuff, but I don't know if I'm going to do this quest. These things are plenty good at defenses and offense. Should help a ton as promised. I had some already, I suppose. Oh yeah, the golly, the the jolly, whatever. Uh, let's see. We're from the Reefs Flux, but not sure 
you know about our people, but we're primarily underwater types. That said, we're plenty familiar with the coral to make weapons and armor, even some medicine. Turns out coral can be found by fishing here in the bog. A strange sort, sure, but it's still coral. Bring me a good 30 of them once you learn how to fish, and I'll give you one of the Makalax experimental elixirs. Uh, I don't know how to do that, but apparently... These are perfect. They turn a bit into the touch. I've set flak to see if there's something there's for exploding. And as promised... Okay, we got... 30 coral tubes. Oh, this is all the quest from the bog, I guess. He's still giving it to me. Lastly, Jack tells me the Bornals that roam far out can collect static electricity via their mustaches. Short of just wanting to shock recruits with, we need some energy storage devices around here. Bring me 10 of those bam stashes and I'll create an elixir I've been personally saving for that battle. And we happen to have that too. Hey Flux, there's something I need you to look at around here. What is that? There's these geysers all over the tundra. Big shaky things of frozen tops boom when you flick them right. I was wondering if there'd be possible method of fast travel around this place or if they left covered from the chick rub. What did the chick rub do here exactly? They're an infestation. Dug all sorts of odd tunnels. They secrete a natural resin that lets them burrow pretty much anywhere. I recognized one of them geysers from a battle we fought here. Way back when... Oh, way back when... Only last time I saw it, it had chick rub pouring out. You don't think they're still active, do you? Full of waiting chick rub? Doubtful. We squashed them fiercely, and they aren't the most strategic of beasts. I'm just curious if anything is brewing down in the holes. Grandmammy told us that a demon she saw crawl out of them once. Demon? Yep. Grandmammy's old. She's seen a lot. She's got. She's not given too fancy, even if we had plans drawn up of utilizing the skin from one. Utilizing how? Binding the skin of them into sort of a boot. She swore it'd work if we ever caught one. Figure you can give it a go if you got lucky. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep our eyes peeled for demons in the geysers. Make sure you come back to me if you get it to work. I'd be curious to see their combat effectiveness. Demon feet. Ah, demonic boots. That looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right, guys, we've gone long enough this episode. We'll do some quests the next time we come back. Thank y'all so much for watching, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. And let me know in the comments, by the way, if y'all know what's up with that stupid lamp quest as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.